So I'm headed up to Unit 3B, Northeastern Arizona, in beautiful White Mountain Apache country, right near the towns of Pine Top and Sholo. We have two cow elk tags to fill. They were easy tags for me and my wife to draw, so we drew them. For us, it's all about it's all about the pursuit of meat, food, and getting one step closer to sustainability. Not having to rely on the grocery store to purchase meat, purchase our protein. So that's uh, that's what the whole goal is. That's what we're there for. And everybody's after the inches, but we're after the ounces. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go scout the area. And I'm really looking forward to just being on the land there. Anytime I go to a place that I'm not from, it's not uh, I'm not indigenous to, I always go there with a good mind and a good heart and introduce myself to the land and let the land know that I come there in a good way and give my offering and express my respect and gratitude for the land, the animals, the plants people and as I go out there and be on the land to glass around and try to look for activity get a feel of the wind get a get a feel of the, the lay of the land see if I can find some tracks near some water holes and just kind of check out access you know, get get all that information but also trying to also visualize too visualizing a successful hunt and that, uh, that we go up there and we're, we become fortunate enough to fill two tags and come home Lots of meat. Yeah, I slept in a little bit. Got in late last night, so I knew that I was going to be tired and needed extra hours of rest. So I slept in a little bit, but usually about this time, 5.30, I want to be out there. But uh, I'd get a little extra rest first. There's this little glassing point up here. It's a knob. I'll get up there and see if I can just kind of get a better look at the terrain. Just over here. There's a nice open area. It's a dried up lake with some water in the center. Lots of tracks there. Lots of droppings look kind of old though. So I'm gonna get up here on the other side and see how the land looks on the other the other side and I see no water hole so I glassed it right away I seen it's about five or six cow elk bedded down so I put my spotting scope on them and get a better look at them Try to figure out where exactly they're at on the map here. They're about 800 yards away. It's probably about 11 of them that I can see. There's still a lot of uh, trees in the area that they're that they're amongst, but they're just getting out of their beds and they're just starting to eat right now. There's even a couple of spikers with them, but I think I'll probably get just a little closer. I want to get a better look. And uh, they're, they're near a water hole, so I wanted to check it out and see if uh, if they go to it. And uh, just to keep note of it and make a waypoint in my go hunt maps. But yeah, it's nice. It's beautiful. I'm just enjoying sitting here and watching them and uh, trying to visualize they come back here in four weeks and successful hunt. So I just got a little closer, it's about 600 yards away, just beyond this, there's a tree line right here, just checking them out. And some of them are still feeding and some of them are getting back in beds, but uh, I'm just going to stay right here and I'm not going to go any further. Probably going to come back tomorrow morning early and see if they're still in the area and just kind of watch them throughout the day, see what they do. Yeah, it's a beautiful evening though. The wind is still blowing towards me. 
that it's uh, died down a lot. But it's about 6.30 and I'm getting hungry, haven't eaten all day. I've just been on this, so I'm going to start making my way back to truck. Get some food. I've watched those cow elk. Well, most of the afternoon into the evening, they pretty much stay put in the same area. So, it's probably about almost eight o'clock now. I left them probably about an hour ago. I started heading back to the truck before it gets too dark. Crash and wake up early and then try to come back to the area. I want to see if those, that herd is still there and see what they're doing. I like that's a beautiful evening here. Exploring another another access point and see if I can get on get onto that herd of uh, cow elk that I seen yesterday. I want to see if um, this place looks like I might be able to get to them a little quicker. So I'm gonna get out, check the wind, see how it goes, and uh, just try to yeah try to check this area out. Try to find out other access points. Beautiful morning getting out here a little later than I wanted to because I was uh, just on my go hunt this morning kind of looking at different uh, access points that I wanted to try and even different areas all around within the unit so beautiful I'm looking forward to exploring it a little bit more beautiful morning The wind is blowing from kind of southwest to the northeast, so that's perfect because I'll be walking with the wind in my face to where that herd was yesterday. Yesterday they were just beyond this tree line, and I think I just heard them mewing, like some calves mewing around. The wind is still good, blowing in my face from the southwest just like it was yesterday evening. This is the cool thing about go hunt. You can see right here, this is where that elk, that cow elk herd was yesterday in, their, in that direction according to this. And so you can see this tree line right there. That's this area right there. So I know that if I go through it, there's another opening right here, and then the bigger opening. Just watching this, this uh, group of her, uh, group of antelope. It's the three pronghorn antelope bucks. One's really big. Let's see if I can get a closer look at them, the spotting scope, just for the fun of it. I moved in about 120 yards on that big buck. I just wanted to get a closer, closer shot of him, get some footage. It was so cool watching him, beautiful animal. But uh, I just watched for a little while, then I slowly backed out. Didn't want to disturb him and spook him. It's probably some outfitters been watching him. He's a big buck, he was a trophy size, so I'm sure people are watching him. Don't want to spook him from the area. But uh, I haven't located that elk herd yet, and I came to the region that they were at, looking around. I'm going to get up on one more high point, glass around, and then I'm going to start heading back to my truck and then check out some other areas. There's some other areas I want to make sure that um, access is clear. I just spotted this other group of antelope. A group of bachelor bucks as I was walking up, coming out of the thicket. And then when I seen them, I got my camera up and then they saw my movement. They started moving away, but some nice bucks. But not, not like that one I just saw. That guy was a stud. Anyways, too bad it takes a decade to draw a damn antelope tag around here. So I'm at this other area. It's pretty elky around here. 
There's this uh, pretty good sized knoll. I'm gonna get to the top of it and glass around. Let's see what I can see. So I came up to this knoll to glass around and I just glassed up another herd of elk. It's about seven of them. Some really big mature cows, bunch of calves too. Really nice. So I'm gonna watch them for a little while. This is a different location than I was yesterday. So this is good to know that there's some in some other area. storm in the distance. I can hear the lightning rumbling. It's a big storm coming. So I'm going to move on out of here back to the truck. My BF Goodrich all-terrain tires are not that great in mud, unfortunately. So. time I hauled ass back to the truck and uh, I just wanted to be safe I just want to make sure because this road I'm on is pretty nasty and if that big flash flood comes that'll be uh have a hard time getting out the tires are not that good for mud my all terrains anyways I got out of there had a nice jog man I feel I feel it in this elevation but good thing I'm in shape that's definitely why I train Whew. anyways that's all for me here I came here and uh did what I wanted to do and didn't get to spend as much time but two days and at least I know where some herds are. I had, had fun doing it. Beautiful, beautiful country out here.